Hi, Kristen. Nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too, Fan. I can't wait to see what you've got up your tech sleeves. Thank you. We all know you acted in many TV shows. I wonder what measures you use to decide if a show is successful or not. Oh, my mom typically calls me. Wow, that's a good one. In digital marketing, we often use a number of measures to keep track of our campaign performance, like orders per week and revenue per quarter. Each of these is called a KPI, Key Performance Indicator. Let me show you something. Here is a dashboard of KPIs. Do you think it is something useful to you? I would go so far as to say it rivals the cup holder in its usefulness. Indeed, it looks nice. But seeing so many numbers on the screen always stress me out. The good news is, with Project KPI Pop, we have artificial intelligence, a causal model which looks at hundreds of these KPIs and millions of data points and can immediately show us important things to focus on. Let's see how it works. Focus away, fan. To begin with, I can use KPI Pop to check our strategic KPIs that measure our quarterly goals. Instead of seeing hundreds of numbers, KPI Pop helps me focus on only a few important ones that matter to our goals. I can easily see that we are not on track to meet the revenue goal for this quarter. There is a 29% gap in revenue compared to our goal. Yeah, that doesn't sound ideal. I think we need to improve that. Indeed. It also shows us that our number of orders is underperforming, even though the number of visits has increased from last quarter. Wow, easy access to these key insights really saves me a lot of time. I'm so glad KPI Puff made them ready for me. It further shows me breakdowns of the KPIs by time and by location. Now I can see an anomaly highlighted in November, which looks like it's dragging down our quarterly performance. To find out what is going on, I only need to click on this anomaly right there and analyze. Behind the scenes, Adobe Sensei, our artificial intelligence framework, analyzes the causal relationship between this anomaly and different behaviors of our customers. So we can know which behavior actually caused the anomaly. Pretty cool. In just a few seconds, it shows us that although our campaigns have brought in new customers, they are not placing enough orders and had a significant impact on November's revenue. I can also see quite a few customers canceled their orders after receiving the referral rewards. Hmm, these findings explained why our visits were still growing, but the revenue was down. How easy was that? With just a couple of clicks, KPI Pop already helped us nail down the root cause behind our declining revenue, which leaves us plenty of time to make adjustments. Okay, wow, that is a time saver. Yes, indeed. Let's see what actions we should take. The next tab shows us all the levers we can pull, including our new use offers, referral rewards, and campaign channels. Even better, by simulating different actions and their returns, Sensei recommends us a plan. Increase our budget for new use offers by $5,000 and save money from our expensive referral rewards. I still have the controls to make adjustments. What do you think, Christine? Should we accept Sensei's recommendation? Immediately, yes. Okay, let's do it. It also estimates that the plan will generate $35,000 in return, and with that, we are going to beat our quarterly goal. Perfect. Let's get these offers out ASAP. Click, click, click. Done. Action taken. Time for coffee. That is how KPI Pop empowered me to manage my business. And maybe one day, Christine, it can also help you with one of your TV shows. I appreciate you implying they need some help. If you like my sneak, please vote for hashtag KPI Pop. See you. Thank you, fan.